Hi everyone, my name is Melissa and I am a Felician University nursing student and today I'm going to talk to you about being a culturally competent nurse. So being culturally competent in nursing is very important because we need to understand our patients from their perspective. We must listen to them, learn from them so that we can make adjustments and accommodations to, uh, to their care. Uh, it's about setting aside our own beliefs and accepting somebody else's. So how am I going to apply being culturally competent to my plan of care for my patient? So let's say my scenario is I have a Jewish woman that comes into a hospital and she's complaining about having an asthma attack. So first we need to establish that. How do I know she's Jewish? Maybe she told me. Maybe I can determine that by the way she's dressed. She's dressed from head to toe, coverings, no skin showing. Perhaps her husband's wearing a yarmulke. We've determined that she's Jewish. Jewish women in their culture want to be provided privacy. So I'm going to ensure that by making sure that the curtain is closed. I'm going to give her privacy. I'm going to make sure that nobody's coming in and out of the room so that I can be respectful of her culture. Secondly, let's say my patient now has gotten admitted overnight um, to run further tests because she had an asthma attack. So I'm going to make sure knowing maybe she could only have kosher foods. Kosher foods are certain foods that are prepared in a certain way and they have to be labeled as kosher. Uh, maybe my patient's really scared now that she's staying overnight. Her husband can't stay with her for whatever reason. So maybe I can offer uh, the rabbi come speak with her, knowing that that's part of her culture. A rabbi is a spiritual leader of the Jewish congregation. Also, just being culturally competent of maybe there are certain days that patients can and can't do things. So, for example, in the Jewish culture, there is something called a Sabbath, which is a holy day. And it is from Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. And I do have a few Jewish friends, and they did tell me that on their Sabbath, they cannot use any kind of electronics. So no TV, no cell phone, no radio, nothing. So just being aware and acknowledging those factors will also show the patients that we care. And this doesn't have, I'm going to jump off for a second. Um, this has nothing to do with treating my patient and being culturally competent right then and there, but just having a general overall knowledge of the different cultures out there. So because I'm talking about a Jewish woman, just I should have a background of knowledge, maybe knowing what the Jewish cultures, um, sorry, the Jewish, knowing what the Jewish holidays are. So for example, um, Rosh Hashanah is a Jewish holiday where they celebrate the new year. There's Yom Kippur, which is a, a fasting holiday. You have Hanukkah, which is where they light the candles in the menorah for eight nights. Um, so just showing that I genuinely care and I have this cultural competency, I think will give the patient a better, better outcome. And that's what we want for our patients. And that is being a culturally competent nurse. And thank you everybody for listening.